quite sure what's wrong with the music. Maybe they don't want me to talk about what I'm going to talk about today. <laughs> How's everybody doing? It is Tuesday. I took yesterday off because I was not feeling great. The energies were a little bit crazy. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Sabina. Um, so I took yesterday off. And then today, uh, we're going to really get in there and talk about some stuff. And then we're going to clear out if you want to. Um, so... For those that don't know me, I am Tracy Gorick. I'm a healing coach, energy healer, spiritual mentor, <sighs> intuitive channel. I use all of that when I'm working with you guys to help you clear things out, see what's going on, and heal and keep you well. So today I wanted to talk about uh, we need to break free from the past blocks, implants, and trauma. And um, I think I've talked about this a little bit, but for a long time, when I go into people's energy, there's stuff, and I used to call it garbage. And I wouldn't know what it is. Um, it was just little pieces of stuff in there. And so I would just remove it because anything in your, in your energy is draining you, right? And so um, I would remove it. And then um, recently, though, it was drawn to my attention that what I had been removing were implants put in there um, by uh, beings so we um, we need to re <laughs> they need to be removed if you want them to because those implants in there are making it difficult for you to go in and find your truth um, they've been put there to help control society uh, we can they're just like they're distractor implants. They're they're from different things. We can go into that in, in another time. I'm already having difficulty talking about this. This is really putting me out of my comfort zone. Um, but I've removed a lot from people, and when when they're there, it's hard for you to see what's really going on in the world, the universe, and then with you personally, because they they want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you believing what the mainstream media is saying to you. Um, which I'm not saying it's all lies or whatever, but the point is when they're there, you can't see the truth and you can't find your own truth. And so those need to like come out if you want them to. If not, I guess it's like a red, taking a red pill. Um, and if you've already worked with me, most likely there have already been taken out. Um, or you didn't have them to begin with. I can't remember with the ones that are in here right now, uh, if they were. Remind me if, if you think I did. Um, because for a while, I just was removing stuff. I didn't question it. And now I'm, I just, I do find out exactly what it is because I know what it is. I just thought, well, it wasn't a thing or a person. Um, because, you know, I've told you I've removed ghosts. I've removed different things from people's energy. But when I'd seen, it like felt like metal things, I just felt like it was garbage that was picked up on. But now I'm paying more attention to that because it's very important. The other thing is, is I've removed them on myself in my physical body. I've removed them from my physical body and other people's physical body. Um, so those are a little bit more difficult and um, to remove. But I don't have trouble removing them. Um, they were just harder to to see, sense, and know. And so that is one of my. Um, awesome abilities is to be able to see those things on your body which is why you know you have trouble with understanding what's wrong and sometimes the doctors can't see it because there is things on your body that aren't physical to see and that's what I can see right so we those things need to be removed if you want to be able to see clearly and understand what's going on and be able to freely see and understand the truth and you can fight against them. And so when you're having trouble, still go and drop it into your heart, you know? And the more you see the truth, the more they'll fall, fall away. I don't know yet if once they've been removed, I don't know if enough stuff's gone down that, that they are still putting them back in people's energy or not. 
Um, but again, it's all about the protection too that we talk about. So just remember that. So you need to break free from the past blocks, imp implants, and trauma. So it's all of that together. Even trauma, even what the media, even what we've been taught in school, that's like in our mind a lot. And that's like what we go with because that's what we know rather than learning to think for ourselves. And that's what's so important right now is thinking for yourself. And those things are blocking you from being able to do that. Because I can sit here and I'm, I I want to like tell you guys everything, but I also want you to be able to know for yourself. Because for one thing, I'm only here to give you an opening to go find it out for yourself. Because you don't want to like just learn and hear everything from everybody. You want to learn for yourself, then you can feel it for yourself, how it feels for you and if it's right. So it's very important. So today we're going to do a little bit of a clearing and um, we'll remove what, if I see anything, we'll remove that as a group, okay? Um, so any questions with that, let me know. I don't know if I like explained it well enough because I, I'm, ugh, it's a tough thing for me to go there because it's so out there, but I, I feel I need to like go more and more out there to help people really understand what's going on and understand why we're where we're at and where we're going. So, um, as I'm guided, I will say things, and this is what came up this morning. It's actually come up for a, a little while, so I finally decided to talk about it. So, all right, let's go ahead and do the little bit of um, clearing and healing. So, I want you to sit back and relax, close your eyes, and I want you to imagine the violet flame all around you, below your feet, up and around and through your whole body, and then above your energy. It's getting all your energy and your aura that violet flame is surrounding it. And it's cleansing, clearing, and purifying anything you no longer need. The violet flame, I'm just being told this, the violet flame is not enough to remove some of that stuff. Um, mostly the violet flame de does energy and emotions. So, now I want you to take a deep breath in. Hold it. And on the exhale, release everything that's no longer serving you. Pay attention to anything comes up and just release it. Another deep breath in. Hold it. And exhale, anything that's no longer serving you. And one last time, deep breath in. Hold it. And exhale, anything that's no longer serving you. Any thoughts that come up, any anger, frustration, that you feel of towards yourself or others around you, just throw that in the violet flame. You need to let people be where they're at um, and not be upset because that's where they're at. Maybe they chose to be at that point. Maybe they chose to help somebody else because when they're the opposite of them, that helps that person feel stronger in their beliefs. You just don't know what's going on. So you don't wanna hold on to that. I want you to put that in the violet flame. And any anger, negativity, frustration that you feel has come at you from others, throw that in the violet flame. Any arguments you may have had, people in traffic, whatever, just throw it in the violet flame. It's not for yours to hold on to. And then finally, the consciousness. It's very, very heavy, and it's making people not feel good, which was part of my problem yesterday, is you want to not hold on to that and put it in the violet flame. A lot of times what you're feeling is not even yours, so you need to remember that and put it in the violet flame. When you really can get to the root of everything, you will understand there's nothing and no one to be upset at, angry at, or anything. When you can get to that and release it all, it's so freeing. And when you understand, like, there's nothing, doesn't matter, don't hold, there's no reason to hold on to it other than it's going to affect you and make you sick. That's the best feeling in the world when you can get to that point where you're not affected by what other people are thinking and doing, even if it's towards you, right? All right, we're going to keep that violet flame there. So the two, if the, the two I know that are on here is Gloria and Sabina. Um, if there's somebody else, let me know because I'm going to go through and check the, your energy if you're on here with me. If you're not, you're still going to get the healing. Um, but that's the benefit of being live with me today. How exciting is that, right? 
All right, I'm gonna begin sending healing. So that way, as I'm working on you guys, the healing energy is coming through for even the others watching it later. So the healing energy is gonna come now. It will only come if you want it. Nothing will be forced upon you. So sit back and relax. Okay, take a deep breath in and exhale. All right, guys, that's what I have for today. Gloria, you had a couple. Sabina, you had a couple um, that I removed. So let me know how that feels. And if you didn't want them removed, they can come right back. Let me know or the universe will bring them back. Um, but it should help you feel a little bit lighter and a little bit clearer um, with that. So um, that's what I've got for today, guys. Any questions, let me know. Go do something you love, something that brings you joy, something that lifts you up. This is how you can overcome even those implants in there, right? Then do some self-care. Drink tea, Epsom salt bath, pray, meditate, whatever it is, do it. And then look for the good in everybody. And when you see something that stands out, say it to that person. It's really important to do that. You want to say it, verbalize it, because that's how you can make a difference with the world. And then write 10 things you're grateful for. Do these things. It's going to make a difference, I promise you. So I have the group healing coming up September. I'm really excited about it. If you're interested, let me know. We're going to do some really deep in healing. I've got the one month already set up, and then the next two months I'm working on, and I'm really excited at the new things I'm going to add into it. So I think it's going to be really good to really help you get where you need to go, working the three months with me so um, closely and um, really getting into the meat of what's wrong and what's going on, okay? So um, any questions with that, let me know. I'd be happy to have you. I only am allowing 10, and I have three already, so really excited about that. It's going to be good. All right, guys, you have a great day. You're welcome, Sabina. I'm glad you were here. Um, have a great day. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.